Hey guys, a uh, quick video. I was just recently for someone else doing a compare and merge between my code and the code that everyone else is using and realized that there was something that is in the neural network class that actually is incorrect. So in the, it's not incorrect, it just isn't as awesome as it should be. Okay, so in the backpropagation network class, in the methods um, region, uh, in the train method, if we go down to uh, right here, updating the weights and biases, you can see what I did here. Uh, and this is actually my fault because I do this once, I copy the code over and have it sitting on the other side of the screen uh, so I can kind of follow along. <laughs> for my notes and I actually was thinking I would just do this in my head but that was not correct. So the thing that's not working correctly is the momentum is not being implemented appropriately. Uh, what you see here is this is just a double that we have in place. Uh, I think we define it up here, right here, weight delta. Um, and we set it equal to training rate times delta LJ uh, times output from the previous layer. Now, this is correct, um, and what we do is we compute that value. Recall that the layer output and delta LJ are both computed right up here. Uh, the output, obviously, during this method call when we run it, and the delta LJ is up here. Um, and so this is a brand new value every single time we make a pass through this uh, training method. So what I do is this is the element I want to keep track of for the backpropagation algorithm, which is why it appears right here. I want to take uh, this little piece off of the weight, uh, which I do. In addition, I would like to take some small chunk, that's the momentum, times the previous weight delta, okay? Now the previous weight delta, assuming I've been through here more than once, is just equal to this value, weight delta. Now weight delta we just decided was recomputed every single pass through this algorithm, which means if I'm on my fifth uh, data point, let's say that I'm training on, I've actually, this value here in previous weight delta is only the change that I computed from the backpropagation algorithm for the fourth data point, right? From the previous one. And really what I want here is I want the part from the previous one plus whatever it was before that, okay? So really what, what you should see here is this weight delta should be accumulating not only the part from this past the algorithm, but also uh, it should continue to accumulate all of the momentum coefficients uh, from the previous passes. And so actually when I do this assignment here, that's correct. But when I set the previous weight delta just equal to weight delta, I fail to capture all of the previous weight deltas. Instead, I just reset it uh, to be the one from the previous training algorithm. Now, theoretically, um, this will still help in as much as it will, conceivably it could point you in a different direction from the previous data point but that's not necessarily the case. What I really want to do in this previous weight delta is accumulate all of my weight deltas. So if I'm sliding down the error surface, instead of just setting it equal to this first one, I want it to slowly build up, right? Uh, in this uh, weight delta variable here, or sorry, the previous weight delta variable. Um, and I actually wanna, I wanna keep it going. So what should happen when you have momentum on is despite the fact that the algorithm says um, you've actually reached a minimum, let's say, this weight delta is computed to be zero, it will still take a little piece of the previous weight delta and should keep going. Um, but right now, <laughs> it doesn't. Once you get there, assuming you do get there, uh, this is computed to be zero, and so you won't actually move past it. This, the way it's set up right now, will move you past it, um, but because this momentum term should be small between zero and one, um, you should actually be 
I don't know, think of that momentum coefficient as like a, a coefficient of friction. Um, if I only take 10% of my momentum term, uh, then when I'm actually at this perfect minimum, let's say, and this weight delta is zero, I zip past it 10% more than uh, I came up to it on the previous, previous weight delta. Um, but then, then I haven't accumulated anything here. I'm sorry, I haven't accumulated anything here that's new. This weight delta is zero. Uh, I'm, I'm taking another 10% of the previous amount. Uh, and so that will dwindle down to zero and you should skip over the minimum and then kind of come back to it. Uh, and that's really what we want. So, sorry, this is really stupid that it's this long, but essentially what you want to do is I want to continue to accumulate my momentum portion into this previous weight delta. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that out. I'm going to go up here to my weight delta computation and add it right back in. And I'll tab it over so it looks nice. And that's it. Okay, so now instead of the weight delta being completely determined by the previous pass, um, it's actually going to accumulate the momentum here, uh, which is what we want. Now, theoretically, this will, this will take something that would have converged directly to zero and make it take a larger number of iterations because I need to burn off all of this momentum while I bounce around the, uh, the global minimum. However, if you're looking at a very complicated data set, uh, it's really worthwhile to have this in place and working correctly because in complicated data sets, there could be who knows how many uh, local minima and you really, really, really want to skip right out of those. Furthermore, this momentum coefficient, you can set to zero. So if you don't want that behavior, if you strictly want to go by the backpropagation algorithm alone, set momentum equal to zero. That's it. End of story. Uh, and that's all. So that's enough uh, blabbling about momentum. Uh, my apologies for changing that, but hopefully if you watch this, the little discussion will be illustrative of what's supposed to be happening. Um, and I actually wrote this immediately after doing my simple network trainer class. So just to show that it still works, I'll run it. And it still works. And here's my new network that I just ran. And everything is hunky-dory. So. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope that's uh, okay for you guys and makes sense. If not, um, ask questions in the comments, and I will do my best to explain it. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.